Now, there, there seems to be two problems that empathy raises. So one is burnout. And um, just to sit on that point for one moment, if there's anyone in the audience who's experienced burnout, um, please feel free to share your experience in the chat. If you if you do want to share your, your thoughts, feel free to turn your, your video or your audio on and, and explain what happened. Um, but it sounds like Paul, you're saying an over-identification with the feelings, maybe over-identification is not the right word, and an over-feeling with the feelings of others can yes. actually lead you to not be, a, not be a good helper because you just don't have the capacity anymore. Um, when my book came out, yeah. I, get, I got a lot of correspondence. And, you know, some people say you disagree with me, some people agree with me. But the correspondence that um, mattered the most to me are people in the world, in a way, in a way that I'm not. And... One example is, is I got it from a woman who uh, was uh, uh, an emergency worker of some sort around 9-11. And she, she uh, and after, you know, the planes hit like so many years ago, she quit. She couldn't do it after about a week. She couldn't do it. And she said that what my book did, eh, she might agree with it or disagree with it. She, it gave her a language to talk about it, which is she mm -hmm. wasn't deficient in love. She wasn't deficient in, in mm -hmm. concern. The problem was her empathy was ramped up too high. So she would deal with somebody who was, you know, devastated about a loss of somebody they loved, and she felt that devastation. And I know, I know, or know of many doctors or or other people who cannot, who, who end up leaving their jobs because they feel the pain of others too acutely. Right. Um, in addition to burnout, there's a second problem you've identified, um, which is poor long-term decision-making um, or accommodating someone who's suffering in a moment, say they don't want the, the vaccine because it's going to hurt their arm. That's right. But in the long run, they're actually undermined. That's so right. you're saying that, so empathy also, it not only contributes to burnout, but it also sort of leads us in a direction towards short-term accommodations, what actually might not be in the long-term interest of the person we're trying to help. There's an analogy, people who talk about empathy, people who like empathy, like mm -hmm. to use, and I like to use it too. It's like a spotlight mm -hmm. and it zooms you in. You know, you don't care. And then empathy zooms you in like, like that. This lights up one particular person at one particular time. And I think it's a good metaphor, but it illustrates the two problems of empathy. One is what I mentioned before, it's bias. You know, you focus a spotlight on one person, but not on another. You can't light up the whole room of it. You, you, you choose and your choices we based on on all sorts of things. Maybe you don't want to choose on the basis of if you think about it as a good person. And then the second thing is what you're talking about now, which is empathy zooms you in on the here and now. As a parent, empathy draws you to solve the kids' problems right away as a friend, as a partner. Well, if you care about them, if you want to be good, you, you, you would take a longer view. It also sometimes favors the one over the many. So it's a somewhat harsh example, but um, everybody who's been in management at some level or in academics, actually, in a research team, it encounters sometimes where somebody has to be let go. They're just not, they're not doing well. They're not thriving. And more than that, everyone around them is suffering because of it. If you have too much empathy, you could never make that kind of hard decision. But because you're not making a hard decision, you say, oh, I'm such a good person. I'm not going to, you know, get rid of this person because it make them sad. Well, and everyone else is collapsing because you're unable to make a hard decision. Sometimes being a good person involves giving somebody bad news in a way that helps everybody on the whole.